Welcome back to my channel. I know that I don't usually upload on this day. I don't actually know what day this video is going up. Um, but I really wanted to do this as a cheeky little kind of surprise midweek, even though it's probably not midweek, so I have no idea when this is going up, video. Um, because I basically reacted to uh, the Merlin COVID-19 kind of statement that they did um, and so I thought that I couldn't do a video on Merlin's kind of statement and not do a video about Pleasure Beach um, because Pleasure Beach have announced um, that they hope to reopen on the 4th of July along with uh, pretty much all of the other theme parks they're all hoping to open on the 4th of July um, and Pleasure Beach have announced some of like their safety measures that they are putting in and how things are going to run a bit differently and stuff and I haven't really read through it properly I've looked at it briefly but not proper kind of in depth about it if you're new here hi my name is zoe welcome to my channel hit that subscribe button because i upload twice a week mondays and fridays at 4 pm for my returning homies uh you will know that i am in a different location than normal i'm in my brother's bedroom because he has gone away with his work um and whenever he isn't here i steal his bedroom because his bedroom is so much bigger than mine uh, and i just like his bedroom a lot more than I like mine so I tend to steal it whilst he is away um, and I thought I'd film here today because you know just changing it up a little bit I feel like it can kind of get boring filming in the same place over and over and over again so it's nice to kind of change it up a little bit one thing I do just want to point out is a lot of these parks are saying that they hope to open on the 4th of July it isn't definite that they will open on the 4th of July I'm pretty sure they will because I know that um zoos and other like safari parks and stuff have been given permission to open i think next week i'm pretty sure and um, which is like amazing um and like non-essential shops are also opening next week as well and um, so i don't really see why primark can open but theme parks can't so i'm pretty sure that they will open on 4th of july but just do bear in mind that it isn't definite until they say they can definitely open then I think that's when you can start getting excited. That's when you can actually start like planning stuff. Um, but for now, they say that they hope to reopen on the 4th of July. So, I mean, fingers crossed that they will, and I'm pretty sure that they will. But I think if you're planning to go, maybe just have like a plan B just in case they can't open. Okay, let's have a look at some of these measures. So, the first one, Please book in advance online to avoid disappointment and use our new e-ticket allowing you to enter the park as soon as you arrive. Um, so this is basically like what uh, the Merlin Parks are doing um, in terms of having to book online. Uh, the thing with Merlin Parks is that you have to pay, as a season pass holder, you have to pay a booking fee and yeah it is only a pound. But I, I just feel so like that doesn't really sit right with me. Um, I mean, I guess it's good because it's like a way of them making more money and it's a way of me supporting them a lot more. But I just, it doesn't sit right with me the fact that, you know, my dad has paid £179 for this season pass. And, you know, a season pass, you are expected to be able to just walk in for free. Whereas the fact that now you kind of have to pay a booking fee, like, I don't like that. They're kind of taking more money from you. Um, so, I don't know whether Pleasure Beach will be the same. I hope not. But, yeah, again, you know, the fact that you have to, like, book online everything. I feel like that's going to be the future for a lot of these parks is the fact that you will have to book online. Um, and you might have to pay booking fees and whatever, which is annoying, but I think it's just the way that it has to be to keep us safe and whatever. Like, it's the best thing to do. Um, and it makes me so sad because they're, they have this, like, new e-ticket system, which means no wristbands, and I love the wristbands. I love collecting them. Um, I actually love wearing them. I love, like, just scanning my wristband 
to get onto a ride like that noise that it makes and the way you have to go through the turnstiles and stuff um i just i love that and the fact that we won't be able to do that anymore actually makes me really sad and um, i know a lot of people are actually quite happy that the wristbands are being taken away but i'm so sad about that because i really love the wristbands again this one is kind of the same just this is basically just a life tip don't go anywhere if you have symptoms of covid19 um please 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 i beg just stay at home self-isolate go to a doctor like just you know keep yourself and keep others around you safe um, and do not visit any theme park if you have any symptoms to enable social distancing across our outdoor amusement park we have capped the number of guests allowed on the park on a daily basis to give you a safe and enjoyable day out so again like with all of the other parks i think they have just they're gonna half the capacity to start off with or only allow like I don't know 30% of the capacity and like I'm not really sure how that's all gonna work in terms of like numbers but I definitely think that they are gonna half it to start off with and I think as time goes on and as we don't really have to social distance anymore and as this kind of starts to fade out I think they can slowly get back to having 100% capacity allowed into the parks I think maybe start off on like 50% and then go up to 60, 70, 80 whatever and then just do it that way just like you know the, I think these things for everything to go back to kind of normal it's going to take a lot of time and it's going to be like a gradual process um, which is annoying because I don't have a lot of patience um, but yeah I think obviously this is just like the best way to do it and then obviously there's a thing here just saying you know follow the guidelines follow the rules stick to the rules and you can still have like a really fun day out so if we scroll down it talks about the e-ticket system this is an like e I can't speak this is an electronic ticket held on your phone or printed out by yourself before you arrive I mean this is all well and good and I understand why they're doing this but what I want to know is not every single person on the planet has a smartphone not every single person on the planet also has a printer like say if my dad was gonna go to Pleasure Beach by himself I don't think there's any way he could do this because he doesn't have a smartphone I have a printer but I'm running out on ink and ink is very expensive um, and just say that you know say that he was just living on his own he probably wouldn't have a printer so there's no way that he could like use the system so I think they do it's just like it's quite complicated because it's like I don't know how else they would do it I think this is obviously like the best way that they've done it and this is the best thing that they can do but it's like you know not everyone has a smartphone not everyone has a printer not everyone is going to be with someone that has a smartphone for them you know so I think you know like it, again it's like the same thing with the NHS like track and trace app thing not everyone has a smartphone so not everyone is going to be able to access that but yeah it's just you know it's the way it is these days everything is on like smartphones and whatever but yeah i mean i'm like i sound like i'm complaining i'm not i'm just trying to think of you know people who may not have access to stuff like this um but i mean i guess you know we are quite lucky because i have a smartphone and i have a printer um, and like my brothers have a smartphone and whatever so we can just use we can i don't know how it's gonna work because like I've got a season pass, obviously my kind of e-ticket is going to be different to my parents. So I guess I might have to print theirs off, I don't know how that's going to work, I'm not sure whether you can book it all in one booking or whether it has to be separate per person, I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Um, but yeah, in terms of kind of like getting rid of wristbands for safety, I think this is like a really good way of doing it. Okay, so I've just clicked on how does it work and says like you need a barcode you'll need a barcode for each ticket you have purchased each person in your group will need a barcoded e-ticket to enter the park these can all be held on one phone for example in your apple wallet each individual's phone or printed off by yourself so yeah okay so i think that's saying that i can have all the e-tickets on my phone so yeah okay that's good <laughs> it also says Please note, Pleasure Beach passes will not be available to purchase whilst we operate under these new COVID-19 procedures. The e-ticket will be the only type of ticket available to purchase. 
And this confuses me because my mom has a di uh, yeah, it's diamond pass, isn't it? Yeah, diamond pass, which I bought her as a Christmas present because she doesn't like go on any of the rides or anything like that. She's just like the bag holder, like she doesn't like rides at all. Um, and you know, I paid legit money for that diamond pass. So I don't know whether she's gonna be able to like use it for the rest of this season or whether it's gonna be like the platinum passes and you're gonna be able to use them next year instead. Like. I'm not sure, have I just wasted? I mean, it was only like £15 anyway because I bought it when it was on offer. But, you know, she still had a whole season to use that pass and she's only been able to use it twice because we went on both days on opening weekend. Um, so, I'm not really sure how that kind of works. Is she gonna have to pay to come into the park and not ride anything? Like, I hope not. But that kind of sounds like that's going to be the case. Okay, what we are doing to protect you, and this is where there's like loads of things, so we're not going to go through every single one. However, <laughs> we'll just go through some of them. Okay, so the first one is on about like looking out for ambassadors um, and you know the fact that there are team members about to help, which I think is really cool because I don't think Merlin have announced anything like this and it sounds like Pleasure Beach have you know certain members of staff for this particular kind of situation and like I feel like they'll be like walking around making sure people are social distancing and um, you know just like keeping everything in check which I think is really good because if you aren't sure about anything like whenever you get there you need to ask someone a question or whatever I feel like there's always going to be someone available so I like that I think they've done like a really good job with that we have introduced social distancing measures in queue lines around the park please strictly observe these guidelines respecting other guests and follow the advice of our team at all times so I feel like this won't actually be too bad you know because some of the queues at Pleasure Beach like they aren't too kind of cramped together so I think it will be quite easy to social distance in queues as long as there's like markers on the floor and as long as people do actually stick to it then I think they like won't have a problem. I'm trying to think of a ride that you couldn't really social distance on in the queue but I don't like I don't think there is a ride that you can't really social distance on as long as they put the markers down as long as people actually stick to it then I don't think there'll be a problem like yeah it might make the queues seem a bit bigger because obviously you're a lot more spaced out but I think if you see a big queue you need to remember that it might not actually be as long as you think it's just because everyone is so spread out see this one's quite interesting a dedicated plan for each ride has been developed and implemented in order to enable social distancing between groups this will vary according to each ride so please follow the signage guidelines and instructions from our ride operators so obviously they've kind of drawn up this like plan of how they're going to social distance on rides i think this is going to be like the merlin parks where it's going to be like one row skip a row sit people on that row skip a row sit people on that row etc etc um which again might make queues a bit bigger but if it's only kind of half the capacity then like i don't know maybe it'll just be like a normal day and it will just feel like it's normal, like it's just a normal queue time. Um, but yeah, I think that, you know, a dedicated plan for each ride, I think is like really good that they've got that and they've like sat down, they've thought about it. And I think, yeah, they've, they've done a good job and they're like, they've put in all of this work and they are like ready to go. This is interesting because I haven't heard or seen anything from the Merlin parks about a one way system. Um, to help us enable social distancing during your visit, uh, the direction of travel along some of our walkways has been changed. Please follow the signage um, And obviously it's just all a one-way system Which I feel like is gonna be kind of annoying because I feel like if you want to take a shortcut to a certain ride You might not be able to take that anymore because of the one-way system um, But you know, we'll see how it goes I feel like we're gonna have to go the long way around to some places and to get to some rides it might take a little bit longer but 
just the way it is, just the rules that we have to go by um, and we're just gonna have to stick to it. <laughs> Some rides may require you to wear a face covering. Please bring a suitable face covering with you. We suggest you bring two. Face coverings will be available to buy here at Pleasure Beach. And again, this really interests me because it says some rides may require you to wear a face covering. So they're not saying that a face covering is mandatory for the actual part but for some certain rides you have to wear a face mask so I think because Pleasure Beach you know they have a lot of indoor rides and they have a lot of dark rides and whatever I feel like those are the kind of rides that you're gonna that you're gonna have to wear a face mask on whereas I think kind of like big one and icon and like revolution um oh that's a thought revolution that's gonna be quite hard to like put markers down and social distance on because of like the stairs oh I didn't think about that I'm sure, I mean, Pleasure Beach will find a way to do it, of course, but, oh yeah, I never thought about that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think, you know, for like the outdoor rides and the roller coasters and whatever, I think you won't have to wear a face mask, because if you're social distancing, then you should be okay anyway. Um, but I think for indoor rides, because you're apparently like, you're more likely to catch COVID-19 in an indoor space, um, I think you may have to wear a face mask for like Ghost Train, Alice in Wonderland, Alice in Gromit, just like, you know, all of the indoor rides. I don't know why you should bring two face coverings. Um, is that in case you lose one or one gets like sweaty or dirty or whatever? I'm not too sure about that, but I don't own a face mask currently. Um, so I think I will definitely buy one from Pleasure Beach, just obviously to keep myself safe. But another thing, is like it's kind of like a souvenir of this like moment in time because I mean I don't think this will last forever like everything will go back to normal whether it's next year the year after that year after that whenever like it will go back to normal at some point I hope fingers crossed um but I think it's nice to kind of have like a mask and like you can show your children in like years to come like oh this is what we had to wear in 2020 and whatever um and i mean a mask with pleasure beach on it like yes please i've seen some of the masks not too keen on some of the designs the mr funshine one looks like something from a horror film i won't lie but i do really like the icon one there's this like black icon one i think it has like the icon dagger like here or something um, and i really like that one so i definitely want that one um and yeah, I don't know, as long as they aren't too expensive as well, because I'm not paying like £12 just for a face mask. Um, so, yeah, I just, I don't know, I find that interesting because it's like, to gain entry to the park, you don't have to wear a face mask, but for some ride you will have to wear a face mask, so just make sure to bring one with you or buy one just in case. On some rides, it may be necessary for us to leave empty seats between guests. Please follow the guidelines on each individual ride. So, yeah, this is like one person here, skip a row, person there, skip a row, etc, etc. Okay, wow, this is a long one, okay. A new online food ordering system is being developed allowing guests to order a selection of food during their visit from their mobile phone which can be collected at a designated time and location. Our restaurants, cafes and takeaway units will be open, but please bear in mind many of these will operate in different ways to that which you have been used to. Additional outdoor seating has also been arranged in dedicated areas around the park. Okay, so again, I haven't really heard Merlin say anything about like a online food ordering system, um, but I think the fact that Pleasure Beach are doing this is really good, but again, it's like... My parents don't have smartphones and we don't always eat at the same time like I can have something to eat at like 2 p.m. but then my mum will want something to eat maybe at like 3 p.m. and she doesn't have a smartphone so she isn't going to be able to order online and obviously when I'm not with her when she's kind of sat somewhere and I'm off like on the rides I obviously have my phone with me so it's like you know I don't really know how that's gonna work we might just have to eat at the same time and or like she can just call me and I can go to her and order it for her off my phone and then once she's got the food I can go back on the rides or something um but yeah it's like you know not everyone has a smartphone so it's so annoying I really hope that you can still order 
like there like you don't have to uh, do it on your phone. Our wide range of gift and souvenir shops will be open with ad adaptations to ensure social distancing. Guests can also visit our online shop and have items delivered delivered to their home address. So I think this is just going to be kind of like how supermarkets are now. Like if it's busy inside the shop, you might have to queue outside, and they're only going to let a certain amount of people in. One thing that kind of I'm gonna struggle with is touching things. I don't know how wrong that sounds, but I am this type of person that will go into a shop and I have to like, if I see something that I like, I have to pick it up and I have to touch it and I have to feel it, I have to look at it to know whether it's for me or not. And I don't think we're gonna have, we're gonna kind of be able to do that anymore. And obviously I don't think it's really that safe to do that anymore. Um, so I'm gonna really have to resist picking things up and like looking at them or whatever until if I know I'm definitely going to buy it I can't pick it up which is going to be oh it's going to be the most frustrating thing but it's definitely something that I need to try and do um so uh yeah that's going to be interesting and I'll keep you updated on how that goes some of our guest experiences such as photograph opportunities with our characters have been modified or suspended to ensure social distancing is maintained and again this is very similar to what Merlin said I actually watched a video of Universal Studios in America uh, open it's the Tim Tracker video I'll leave it in the link down below because it kind of gives an idea of how the theme parks are going to operate under all of these circumstances um, and he showed that the Spider-Man and oh, I can't remember who else it was I think it was like Iron Man or someone and um, they were both stood on this like platform and they had this like marker two meters away from the platform that people could stand on so if they wanted to like say hi to them, if they wanted a picture, it would be done in a social distance way. Um, and I think that is like such an amazing way to do it because even I questioned, before I saw that video, I questioned like how is it going to be done, like how are meet and greets going to happen and whatever. Um, either they're just not going to happen um, or they're going to do it the way that Universal Studios have done it. I think they've done such a good job with that. Um, so yeah I think that's definitely something that they're gonna have to do if they want to maintain especially in Nickelodeon land because in Nickelodeon land I feel like meet and greets are such a big deal especially for the little children so I think they're gonna have to like stand on a platform or they're just gonna have to stand in their own little area and um, I feel like you can't like hug them you can't go really close to them um, and you're just gonna have to keep your distance at all times but you're still gonna be able to like meet them and still have like photos with them and stuff for the safety and well-being of all our guests and staff, Blackpool Pleasure Beach has a dedicated team of security officers patrolling the park at all times. So it's basically just security, it's kind of what they have now, but I feel like it might be upped a little bit just to make sure that people are following the rules, people are social distancing, um, make sure there's no like trouble, make sure no one's like complaining about it and whatever. I mean, if you're going to complain about it and you don't want to go to a theme park under these measures, just don't go. Like it's simple, just wait until they're relaxed a little bit. Oh yeah, season pass holders. Okay, so this was announced this morning um, and I'm, I'm actually really happy about this. But the one thing I wanted to mention was, I think it's this bit. Should you choose to keep your Pleasure Beach... Uh, no, I said it wrong already. Should you choose to keep your 2020 season pass for the remainder of the year, you will be able to visit us as soon as we reopen. Season pass holders will need to pre-book your visit to Blackpool Pleasure Beach so we can account for you within our capacity limits. Season pass holders will be given access to a special booking portal where you will enter your season pass number. Once validated, you'll be able to confirm your attendance for any day within the next seven days. And once government guidance is updated to confirm a July 4th reopening, access to the booking portal will be given via email and on this page. And I just love that so much. And this is why Pleasure Beach are superior. This is why I love them. Having a special booking portal for season pass holders. Yes, please. I couldn't ask for anything more and I'm so happy that they are doing this also it doesn't sound like you're gonna have to pay a booking fee I'm not saying that you won't have to because you might have to but it doesn't sound like you have to 
and I love that and I think Merlin should take notes because it kind of sounds like on the Merlin like in the Merlin attractions and stuff you just literally just go onto the website and you have to book it through there you don't really have your own kind of special portal thing and you still have to pay a one pound booking fee uh, whereas this you have your own portal uh, you might not have to pay a booking fee and I thank Pleasure Beach so much for that um, and I just oh special booking portal like that makes me so happy and it makes me feel special and I think for the first time I actually feel like a valued Pleasure Beach pass, pass holder and I like that, I like that feeling of you know feeling special, I feel important like I feel like a VIP I've never felt like that before I like that a lot <laughs> so those are the new measures for Pleasure Beach they are very similar to the Merlin parks and I feel like that that's how it's just gonna be for like all of the other parks as well like Adventure Island, Fantasy Island, Portland's Park etc etc this is just how theme parks are gonna be now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did stay safe stay well and I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video bye